All right, so this is just going to be a quick video showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, all right? So my external monitor thing is having some weird issues right now, so I'm going to do this blind. Anyways, first we're going to undo all the screws here using a PH1 or JIS1 screwdriver. Um, the screws seem to stay in place, so don't worry about taking them out. Just unscrew them uh, until you hear the click that pretty much tells you that the screw is completely undone. All right, just like that. Okay, so we're going to try and make sure it's centered. I can't really see right now. I have to look at my phone screen. All right, once you undo all those screws, just get underneath the cover and pull it up like that. If it's not coming up, you might want to double check the screws and you can unscrew them while you're pulling it up. So there we go. We got the cover off. Under here, you can see there's an M.2. This looks like, let me see here. I believe it's an S, uh, SATA model, but let's see here. Uh, yeah, M.2 SATA. So I don't know if it supports PCIe, NVMe or not, but this one is an M.2 SATA SSD. All right, you got the battery connector here. To remove that, you just get on the wings and then you kind of use the wings to kind of help pull them back just like this wiggle the wings and you can pull the connector out just like that all right I'm gonna leave it connected for now all right actually let me disconnect that just to check the LCD screen cable because it's being a little glitchy all right so we're gonna pull that connector out hopefully you can see what I'm doing I can't see with my second screen so I have to do this um, from all from the phone all right we're gonna press and hold the power button 10 to 15 seconds just to drain any power to prevent any damage when we disconnect the LCD or LVDS connector. All right, so that's been out long enough. So let's close that up. All right, so now we're gonna check. You got the connector here for the fingerprint sensor. This one has two latches that when you grab this black part, you can pull it back and then you can pull that connector out. I'm not going to pull all these things out though, um, but let's go ahead and disconnect the battery or remove the battery. Okay, hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing. Keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shapes, and lengths. And if you put the wrong screws in the wrong spot, you can cause damage to the computer. All right, so we'll remove these two screws. Again, sorry, my screen thing that shows me what I'm doing is not working right, so I'm doing this kind of semi-blind. All right, so we'll remove the third screw there. Again, keep them in order. And then there's two more screws down here. So five screws holding this battery in place. Sorry, I'm putting the screws in a line so I can see where they are. All right. Okay, um, the speaker is, it looks like it is attached to the battery. So I'm just gonna lift up the battery just to see, show what's underneath. Um, it feels like there might be another screw here or something holding it down. Let's see if we can lift it up. So I'm going to lift up here. Okay. Going around to the front. Hmm. Why is it stuck so strongly? Okay. It looks like actually the battery might be, it's actually held underneath the motherboard here. So to remove the battery, it looks like we have to lift up from the back here. Let's see if that's correct. Okay, wait, I thought I took out, interesting, there's two screws, oh, I took the wrong one, okay, sorry, I took out the screw for the speaker here, so we don't need to take that one out, I wonder why it wasn't coming up, and then we'll take out the actual battery screw down here, alright, so now that we got the five battery screws out, we're going to lift it up, and the speakers are actually taped down to here, so we don't have to remove the speakers all right once you lift up the back slightly you can slide this out and then kind of make sure guide this out over that connector and here you can see the two tabs that we're holding it down okay the battery model number let's see here's the battery model numbers okay 45n1702 and this one hold on my cat students okay so those are the model numbers you would use to find the battery all right, I don't see a general model number. They only have these double model numbers. Okay, so we'll set the battery aside. Here you can see the trackpad cable. 
All right, this one has a latch that if you flip it up, you, it'll release that and you can pull it out. You've got the keyboard connector here. You got this connector here that connects for the audio jack and the USB port here. These kinds of connectors just pop up. I'm not gonna pull those out, but I'll pull out this one since it's a little bit less covered by stuff. You got this connector. Um, what is this? Um, this looks like they labeled it for a network adapter, but I don't know how you would plug something in there. You, I've never seen this connector before. And then you got a USB connector here. These kinds of connectors, again, they come out just like this. You just pop them up, there you go, and it pops out. But there is like an adhesive holding this, so I'm gonna leave that in place. We'll just click that back down. You got this connector over here. Um, it looks like that's going to the fingerprint sensor. All right, you got this connector. These two go into the screen, and they look to be um, most likely for like the camera. I don't know if this laptop is also touchscreen. I'm just going to check these connectors. I'm going to flip the little latches and then just make sure that they are connected completely. All right, so it looks okay. All right, got this one the, for the fan. Okay, then you got this connector is where the trackpad connects down there as well as I believe this, the central, um, I don't know what you would call that, the finger track point thing. All right, you got the connector for the speakers going under here. This comes out just like the battery. You just grab the wings. You'll have to remove the tape, of course, but you grab the wings and you kind of just wiggle it and pull it back. I'm gonna leave that in place. You got the wireless card here. The antennas, you just pull up from the tail straight up and they'll pop out. Um, just like the other one, the gray cable is going into the black arrow and the black cable is going into the white arrow. Um, the RAM is soldered to the board. You can't replace that. Then you got a connector here. I'm not too sure what this is. I'm not completely disassembling this computer, so we're not going to really find out. Um, and then you got the LCD LVDS connector right here. This one is probably for that touch bar that goes across the top. All right. So then you got the LCD LVDS connector. You just pull that cable up and it comes up like that. So anyways, um, if you do mess with this cable, if you do flip that, make sure that you disconnected the battery and press and hold the power button 10 to 15 seconds before doing that, or you can easily damage your computer. All right, um, it looks like this is actually the RAM, the memory that's soldered to the board. And if you're wondering, the SSD, there's just one screw holding it in place here. Take that screw out, it pops up like that, and then you can just pull the SSD out just like that. All right, so we're gonna put this back in. Make sure you slide it in all the way at while it's up at an angle like that, and then while you're holding it in, push it down and put the screw in. Oops. But that's pretty much all there is to this model. Um, sorry, I'm not completely disassembling it. It looks like this one will need a replacement screen, so if the customer decides to do it, then I will make a video on that. The keyboard is also replaceable, but you'd have to take the entire motherboard out and then there's a whole bunch of these tiny screws holding it in place. All right, so let's go ahead and put the battery back in. Again, to put the battery in, you have to put it at an angle like this because of those little feet that slide underneath the motherboard. All right, get it lined up, drop it into place. Make sure to get the battery connector, okay. And let's get this reconnected. Okay, get that in there. Squeeze the two to get together, the connector and this piece on the board. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and put all the screws back in. Okay, sorry I didn't really show too much on this model, but anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, let's see, I think this model also has the reset button through the bottom. Yeah, so the, the laptop actually has a reset button, so if you have a board issue or it's not turning on, if your screen just stays black, you can try pushing this little button here, which actually pushes this. So there's a little needle that you can use to push this, or a SIM card eject tool, and then you can press and hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds and that will reset the motherboard or BIOS. It's like a battery disconnect switch, uh, reset switch. All right, so we're gonna just put all the screws back in now. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe, share my channel with others. 
Thank you for watching. Um, I'm just going to be putting back the entire thing together now. Um, the bottom cover, um, there's a small trick to it where you kind of have to slide it into place because of the little feet that stick out. So I'll show you that in a bit. Hopefully, okay, I'm able to see. All right, so you put the cover back in at an angle like this, slide these little feet down in first, just like that. Once you get those feet in, you can go ahead and let the cover swing down. You might have to hold the middle up slightly to kind of push these clips into place. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put these screws in. And if the clips don't go in, we might have to pull, put some pressure up there. So tighten the two screws down here first. Okay, you do have to do them in this order because of the clips and the way it has to like slide into the bottom. So we'll just tighten these middle screws now. Here's the little hole I was mentioning earlier. Okay, it looks like it doesn't really even clip into place, it just slides into place, so as long as you put the screws back in order, you should be okay. All right, and that's pretty much it. So again, hopefully this video helped. Like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can also work on their computers. And thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, this one actually has some clips on the back here. So you do want to make sure those clips go in. All right. And there you go. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.